What is up you guys? In today's video, we're gonna be swapping out this TRD grill for the TRD Pro grill. Let's get right to it. All right, so first thing you wanna do, obviously open your hood, and we're gonna be taking out this right here. It's a 10 millimeter, and then this one right here. These are both 10 millimeter bolts. And also these right here are some caps. You're gonna to wanna to take these out as well. There's one on the other side. You just pop these guys up and pull them out. And then also right here, you want to make sure you're disconnecting your safety sense right here, the TSS. And um, just make sure it's disconnected, unplug it, and then the grill will be able to come out. All right, so here is actually the new grill that we're going to be installing. And this one is a little different than what we're used to. So here's the grill itself, and here are the sensors and parts. So normally right here would go the Toyota letters, but in this case, the letters we're going to be putting in are actually going to light up. So let's check this out. All right, here we go. So these are pretty sick right here. So they're going to be white, they're going to give it a nice little accent. And these are going to light up at night and the way you wire these through is the same as you would wire some raptor lights i will show you guys exactly how but this is going to be sick right here so let's go ahead and install them and then uh, replace it inside the actual grill all right so now first thing is going to be removing the sensor piece right here all right now once all the screws are out you want to take this out right here just unplug this and let's put this aside. And now it's time to just take out this piece basically right here. This frame is obviously going to stay. This is what's going to go back on the truck. But this little part, the center part, is where the TRD Pro grill is going to go. And I think you got to take out a couple of these screws. Not this one, but a couple of these screws right here. I'm going to see how many you got to take out. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put it in. All right, so it has now just came out and here it is. So I didn't have to take off all the screws. There are still some screws on the edges and uh, you can leave those. Here is now the TRD Pro grill. Let's go ahead and put this face down and then we'll basically follow the same steps just in reverse and clamping it in. There we go. And now here it is. Man, this black looks way better than that gunmetal with the army green. Let's go ahead and put in the screws and finish this up. All right, so apparently many of those screws that we took out are not going to be able to go back in to the new grill, but that's okay. You know, it's pretty strong in there with all these clips. So let's go ahead and now install the TSS sensor. All right, so here's the new one. Just like that and by the way if you guys want to get this grill the same exact one that lights up a company sent this out to me and you guys can get it using the link in my description below so anyways here's this one I'm gonna take this off and this is actually gonna go from the outside in all right so now we go ahead and take this piece the most important one for the TSS and we'll put this right on here like this and put those screws right back in there. All right, and now for the actual lettering. So what you wanna do with this is just push it through and then it's gonna clamp right in place. And then from the back, we'll go ahead and put some screws in there. Now they're all clamped in. So now let's flip this over and put in the actual screws. So now that all these are screwed in, now I'm going to go ahead and connect them to right here. This comes with it. And like I said, this is going to connect to your fuse and you guys will see shortly. But let's just go ahead and connect these so it's not a headache when the grill is all installed. So here is the grill now. 
So now it's all in place and now make sure you just connect your TSS sensor. Alright, so now you want to tap into your fuse box real quick and you can go ahead and find which fuse to access right here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these lights to my fog light and that's going to be right here. So when I turn on my fog light, these will turn on because I don't want them on all the time. And that's going to be a 15 amp located right here. All right. So now the fuse that comes with the actual kit, you're going to want to plug it in right into here where you took the other one out. And then the red from the actual kit is going to go into here and you can just pinch it in the black. It comes with a little loop ring. We're going to attach it right here to the negative using some black duct tape just to go ahead and hide this wire and tape it up to you know the frame so nobody sees it so quick update these lights were not turning off at all when i connected them to my fog lights so i'm gonna have to connect them to my headlight and to do that i went ahead and i'll show you guys it's gonna be just this one right here so same process obviously everything the same and then just connect it to that one right there all right well here it is this is how it's looking when it's off and it actually looks pretty high quality so as you can see that toyota is really popping out so my leds are on and there is that so it's a bit of an amber color and you could just see man that is nice so i kind of went for the amber and if you don't like that then you can just go ahead and you know basically just turn it off but there's different options as well and I got the amber because when I shut it off, it could just be totally white. But man, how nice is that looking? So it's definitely unique, but uh, let's go ahead and see it at night and see how it looks. So here it is. It is a little bit amber, but it's kind of a nice amber. Like it's a little warm. It's definitely unique. Definitely unique, guys. What do you guys think of this? I want to see your guys' opinions. You know, this is super noticeable, especially at nighttime. This looks kind of sick though. It's kind of growing on me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys can please hit that like button, give me a subscribe. It'll really help out the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.